Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I am Teacher Aubrey, your English teacher. And for tonight's video lesson, for tonight's live lesson, we are going to discuss another worthwhile topic, which is about the phrasal verbs with the word come. So before we begin, let's wait for some more live audience for tonight's live lesson. Good evening sa mga nanonood. Paki-comment niyo po sa ating live chat box, sa ating comment section kung nasa ang bahagi kayo ng Pilipinas na nanonood o nasa ang bahagi kayo ng mundo na nanonood sa mga oras na ito para mabati ko po kayo. Ayan. So, let's flash the names of those early birds. Yes, nakasama natin in tonight's live lesson. Unahin ko, ito ang aking mama, Josephine Bermudez. Hello po. Uh, Virgin Lee, hello. Good evening. Ayan, kasama rin natin si Daniel Aranas. Watching then from USA, kasama natin si Sonia Tugonon. Si Leo Paha... Leo Paharilyaga. Hello sa'yo. <laughs> Watching naman from Mindanao, si Cracker, Cracker Grace Geraldizo. Hello po. Watching from Bulacan. Ayan, kababayan ko dito sa Bulacan, si Elaine Gonizo. Hello, good evening. Ayan. Uh, my favor para sa lahat na pakishare po ang link ng ating live lesson tonight. If you're watching on YouTube, share the link with your friends, with your classmates. At sa mga nanonood din naman sa Facebook, pakishare din po ang link na ito. <laughs> wow, gl I'm glad to know that, Leo. Hello kay Glory Vale. Maraming salamat po. Watching from Tanzaca Vite, si Radisson Alvarez. From Hulusulu, si Far. Si Kath M. Hello, magandang gabi rin naman sa'yo. Si Rolls, hello po. Good evening. From Cagayan, watching from Cagayan, si Glory Ville. I-shout out din natin si na Ingrid, that's Sophie. Ayan, that's from Rolls. Hello, Mirna. Hello, Mitzel. Good evening to all of you, my dear learners. Ayan, may nanonood din sa atin na si Myra from Camarines. Ah, sorry, Camarines. Camarines, kalookan si Rolls. Nanonood din from Hong Kong, si Journaline Alba. From Isabella, nasa na yun? From Isabella, si Tilly Gray Channel. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, sabi ni Joyce, I love your video teacher, Aubrey. Since dumaan sa wall ko, yan, follow ko agad sa page mo. God bless po. At marami po kayo na refresh na napag-aralan ko. Ayan, thank you so much po from Arnold. Ayan, hello mula sa Pangasinan. Si Miles na mula sa Hong Kong. Kung ang pinapanood nyo na ay ang replay ng video na ito, ay pwede na kayo mag-proceed sa 5th or 6th minute. Doon ako magsa-start kasi ng lesson. Ayan, ito si Jerby. Hello, Jerby. Ayan, hi, Ma'am Aubrey. Hello, Jerby. Hello, Vox. From NCR, si Gamal. Watching from Bahrain naman, si uh, Joyce. Hello, good evening. From Marikina, si Me Ann Caballes. Shout out din natin sa Greece, nanonood sa Greece, si Ben De Leon. Oh, thank you. Excited din ako magturo sa inyo. Ang ituturo ko ngayon sa inyo ay phrasal verbs with the word come. I know familiar kayo sa ilan sa mga pag-aaralan natin kasi pwedeng naririnig ninyo siya or nababasa ninyo. Watching naman from Saudi Arabia si Angelia. Hello, Mr. M from Caloocan. Watching from Bayugo si Jerby. Hello, Vox. Hello sa inyo dyan sa Bayugo. From Quiapo Church si Jose R. Carlo. From Singapore. Singapore. Tama ba? Si Pearly White. Hello po sa inyong lahat. I hope na nasa mabuting kayong kalagayan. And I'm requesting all of you to please like and share the link of this live video para mas maraming maabot yung gagawin nating pag-aaral. And don't worry kung hindi nyo man maabutan ng live lesson natin ito, pwede nyo pa rin naman siyang mapanood kasi mapapanood din yung replay. Ayan na nga. Kasama rin natin from San Pedro, si Eliseo. <laughs> 
From Tarlac, si Jonathan from Leyte. Wow. <laughs> Happy Teacher's Day. Ay, maraming salamat, Cora Abapo. At Happy Teacher's Day then. Happy Teacher's Month. Actually, Teacher's Month yun eh. From September 5 to October 5. Month-long celebration po ang Teacher's Day, no? And it's, this celebration is being celebrated in the whole wide world. Hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya nga ang tawag sa kanya ay World Teacher's Day, no? World Teacher's Month. Ayan, hello kay Ezekiel for watching from Mindanao si Brenda. And lastly, ayan, si Gan Uyan, watching from Al Qasim, Saudi Arabia, Benjamin Navarro. Once again, good evening to all you, all of you, my dear learners, and welcome back to my channel. I am Teacher Aubrey Bermudez Badaguas, your English teacher. And for tonight's live lesson, we are going to discuss the phrasal verbs with the word calm. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman siguro sa screen yan yung ating tatalakayan. Um... These phrasal verbs, ito yung expressions na ginagamit ng mga native speakers na kailangang malaman din natin. And through the help of phrasal verbs, mas mawawiden yung vocabulary natin na hindi lang pa ulit ulit yung verb na ginagamit natin when we would like to express a particular word or when we would like to give a particular message sa kausap natin. Ano po, yung sinasabi nating phrasal verb, karaniwan, binubuo siya ng dalawang salita. Of course, there is a verb there, merong verb sa umpisa, at may karugtong siya na pwedeng preposition, na kapag pinagsama sila, may nabubuo ng panibagong kahulugan. At yan nga yung aalamin natin. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Our topic for tonight is about phrasal verbs with the word calm. I have here 15 phrasal verbs to share with you tonight. And some of the phrasal verbs, they have two or more meanings. So mamaya makikita nyo may ibang phrasal verbs na dalawa yung kahulugan o higit pa. Minsan kasi, hindi lang naman sa phrasal verbs. Even sa mga other vocabulary words in English, Naiiba yung kahulugan depende sa gamit sa pangungusap. Ibig sabihin, may mga salita talaga, even in Filipino language, na yun yung salitang yon isa yung salitang yon pero meron siyang dalawa o higit pang kahulugan. Depende sa gamit. So, let's begin. The first one is this. We have the word, come across. So, ayan na nga yung una nating salita. We have, come across. Yung verb natin dyan ay yung salitang come. And, Added by the word across, it becomes come across. Ang come across po ay mayroong dalawang kahulugan. Dalawang kahulugan, ano? The first meaning is this. When we say come across, it means to seem, to be considered, or to be perceived. Perceived. Sa so, madaling salita, ito yung kung paano natin tinatanggap o nakikita ang isang bagay. For example, this one, ito favorite ko yung katabi ko lagi yung tubig. Siguro ito, I come across this glass of water as half full. Nakikita ko siya as half full. Feeling ko puno siya pero kalahati na lang. Pero pwede nyo iba sa inyo, nanonood ngayon, you perceive or you come across this glass of water as half empty. Pwede ang nakikita nyo yung nawawala sa kanya. Pero ako yung nakikita ko sa kanya, yung the thing that I can come across this glass of water is half full siya. May laman pa siya, pero hindi lang ganun kapuno. Pero pwede yung ibang nanonood sa inyo, ang nakikita, bawas na siya. So, di ba? Magkaiba tayo ng perception. Magkaiba tayo ng paningin sa nakikita nating bagay. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng come across, kung paano natin nakikita yung isang bagay. So, let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, Nathan comes across as rude, but he's really just shy. Ulitin ko ha. Nathan comes across as rude, but he's just really shy. He's really just shy. So, ano ibig sabihin ng pangungusap na yan? Na ang perception o ang tingin ng ibang tao kay Nathan ay masama ang ugali, magaspang ang ugali. Pero ang totoo, mahiyain lang talaga siya. Kaya siguro hindi siya mahilig mambate sa mga nakikita niya. Again, the first meaning of come across is to seem or to be considered or to be perceived. My challenge para maging uh, interactive yung lesson natin tonight, once I gave you the meaning and the example sentence using the phrasal verb, 
try to compose your own sentence using the phrasal verb I already taught you. Ilagay po sa ating live chat box, sa ating comment section sa iba ba. And later on, at the end of this lesson, after I gave you the 15 uh, phrasal verbs with the word com, there will be a short quiz. Yes, meron po akong 9 to 10 item quiz na pasasagutan sa inyo para makita ko kung naunawaan at inunawa nyo ba yung ginawa natin pag-aaral. So we're done with the first meaning of come across. The second meaning of come across is this. Ayan, makikita nyo, 1B. The second meaning of come across is to find, especially in on in an unexpected way. Again, to find, especially in an unexpected way. O, hahanapin mo yung isang bagay, pero sa hindi naman inaasahang paraan. Yung kumbaga nakita mo siya, pero hindi mo talaga sinasadyang makita siya. Ano po? Alright. This is the example sentence. I was cleaning out the closet when I came across this old photo album. I was cleaning out the closet when I came across this old photo album. So, anong ibig sabihin? Naglilinis ako ng uh, closet, ng aparador, at bigla na lang nakita ko, nang hindi inaasahan, yung old photo album na ito, itong matandang photo album na ito. So, anong gustong iparating when we say come across? Hinanap mo siya pero sa hindi inaasahang pagkakataon, makikita mo siya. Ano po? At pansin ninyo dito sa ating example sentence, the word here is came across. Baka magtaka kayo, akala ko po ba come across, teacher Aubrey? Came here is in past tense. It's in the V2 format of the verb. The V1 or the present tense of the verb is come. The past tense is came. The past participle or the V3 is Came, is come pa rin. Come, came, come. So, itong sentence na ito ay nasa past form, kaya po ang ginamit ay came. Alright? Next one. So, that's our second meaning of come across, which is to find especially in an unexpected way. Now, let's proceed to the second phrasal verb with the word come. We have come along. This phrasal verb only has one meaning. Come along means to accompany. Okay? Ibig sabihin, sumama. Come along. Let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, you can come along. Pwede kang sumama. Okay? We'd love to have you join us. Very simple. Again, ibig sabihin ng come along to accompany o sumama. You can come along. Pwede kang sumama. We'd love to have you join us. Magugustuhan namin. We'd love. Okay lang sa amin na makasama ka. Makabonding ka. Again, the second meaning of the word, or the second phrasal verb with the word come is come along, which means to accompany. Alright? The next one, number three, we have the phrasal verb come around. Again, ha? come plus the word around. Come around. This phrasal verb has two meanings. Ayan, may dalawa siyang kahulugan ang phrasal verb na ito. The first one is this. When we say come around, it means to visit or frequent a place. Ibig sabihin, bibisita ka o mapapadalas ka doon sa lugar na iyon. Alright, that's the first meaning. To visit or frequent a place. Let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, ever since Josh broke up with Mary, he doesn't come around anymore. Ayan, ulitin ko ha. Ever since Josh broke up with Mary, he doesn't come around anymore. So kung papalitan natin yan, nung kahulugan yan na to visit or frequent a place, it will be ever since Josh broke up with Mary, he doesn't visit anymore. Ibig sabihin, simple lang, magmula nung naghiwalay si Josh at si Mary, hindi na dumadalaw pa si Josh kina Mary. As simple as that. The first meaning of come around is to visit or frequent a place. Next one, the second meaning of come around is this. To change one's mind or attitude in a positive or favorable way. 
to change one's mind or attitude in a positive or favorable way. O ibig sabihin, yung tipong babaguhin mo yung isipan, yung point of view ng isang tao. Ano? O yung kilos niya. Yung kanyang stand ukol sa isang bagay sa magandang paraan. In a positive or favorable way. Example sentence is this. Don't worry about Greg. He'll come around soon enough and agree with you. Kung mapapansin niyo sa sentence natin na ito, gumamit tayo ng context clue na, ayan nga, sabi dyan, he will come around soon enough and agree with you. Gumamit ng phrase na agree with you. Pinapakita na kapag nag-come around, mababago yung isipan ng tao. Tapos, anong mangyayari? He will agree with you. Okay? Pinakita na nagkaroon ng change of mindset. When that person come around, soon enough, he will agree with you. Pinakita na nagkaroon ng change of one's mind or attitude in a positive way. That's the second meaning of come around. The second and the last by the way, so that's the second and the last meaning of the word or the phrasal verb come around. Another one, ayan, tapos na tayo sa pangatlo natin. No? Bilis na nakatatlo na tayo. Ang pangapat nating phrasal verb, it only has one meaning. We have come back. Ayan, very easy na lang to para sa inyo kasi naman naririnig nyo itong palagi. We have the word come back. When we say come back, it means very easy. It means to return or babalik, come back. Mm -hmm. Let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, uh, bring your family when you come back. Bring your family when you come back. O ibig sabihin, dalhin mo ang pamilya mo kapag bumalik ka na. Pwedeng galing siya sa ibang lugar o pwedeng nasa abroad sila. At uuwi na siya dito sa Pilipinas, uuwi sa hometown nila at babalik siya kasama yung pamilya niya. Again, the meaning of come back is very easy. It's very familiar to all of you. I know it means to return o magbalik. Next one, eto naman, yung fifth phrasal verb natin ay meron siyang dalawang kahulugan. The fifth phrasal verb is come by. Come by. All right. The first meaning of come by is this. It means to visit for a short time. O dadalaw ka, pero saglit lang. No? Pwedeng napadaan ka lang, bibisita ka lang saglit. That's the first meaning. This is the example sentence. Let's say, come by when you're in the neighborhood. O ibig sabihin, visit for a short time when you are in the neighborhood. O Bumisita ka saglit, sumilip ka saglit kapag nandito ka lang naman sa malapit. Something like that. The first meaning of come by is to visit for a short time. Tandaan ninyo yung mga kahulugan. Mamaya sa hulihan, meron tayong short quiz. Susubukan ninyong sagutin yung mga yun. The second and last meaning of come by is this. It means to receive or to get something usually of value. To receive or to get something usually of value. Ibig sabihin, makatanggap o may makuha kang bagay na karaniwan ay mayroong halaga. Pwedeng tumutukoy sa halaga ng pera o may value siya just like jewelry and such things. Nakahaling tulad nun. Example sentence is this. How did you come by that expensive car? O paano mo nakuha yung mamahaling sasakyan na yan? Okay? How did you come by that expensive car? Again, when we say come by, another meaning is to receive or to get something usually of value. That's the second meaning of the word come by. The sixth phrasal verb we have is this. It also has two meanings. The phrasal verb is come down. Ayan, calm down. This phrasal verb, the first meaning is to decrease such as a price. O ibig sabihin, bumaba yung halaga. 
bumaba yung halaga, karaniwan sa presyo ng bilihin. Come down means to decrease or, yeah, to lessen the price. The example sentence we have is this. The price on that house has come down a lot. Ayan, ibig sabihin yung presyo ng bahay na yan ay bumaba na ang halaga. Come down a lot. They were asking about 2.6 million pesos more. Again, we have the price of that house has come down a lot. Ibig sabihin ng come down ay mabawasan o bumaba. Most especially, tumutukoy siya sa halaga ng isang bagay. The second and last meaning of the word come down is this. To visit an area considered geographically lower or further south. Again, ibig sabihin, to visit an area considered geographically lower or further south. For example, ibig sabihin niya ay bibisita ka o bababa ka. O simpleng halimbawa, kunyari nakatira ka sa mataas na lugar, bababa ka sa ibabang bahagi nun. Ano? Example, nasa Ilocos region ka. Dadalaw ka sa mga kamag-anak mo sa south. San ba ang south? Pwedeng example niyan, yung mga region sa Calabar Zone. O, diba south yon Pwedeng sa Batangas, sa Laguna. Yan. Yung mga lugar na yon kapag bababa doon, yun po ang tinatawag na calm down o mag-visit ka sa mga lugar na itinuturing nas, nating nasa south. Alright? Example sentence is this. I'll be in Manila that I'll be in Manila that week, but I'll see if I can come down to Laguna. Ayan. Kasi kasalukuyan siyang nasa Manila, pero tinitingnan niya daw sa susunod na linggo o sa linggong tintukoy kung makakababa siya para makabisita sa Laguna. At ang Laguna, geographically, nasa south siya ng Manila or nasa south siya sa ating mapa sa Pilipinas. Again, the meaning of come down is to visit an area considered geographically lower or further further south. Okay? Next one, we have the phrasal verb. Ito, come down din siya, pero may dinagdag tayo. Sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? Karaniwan, yung mga phrasal verb na yan, may madagdag lang na kasunod na salita or part of speech na iiba na yung kahulugan. So, yung come down kanina, may dalawa siyang kahulugan. etong salitang ito, we have the word come down on. Dinagdagan na ng word na on. Come down on. When we say come down on, my dear learners, it means to punish severely. It is used with the word hard. Again, it means to punish severely or ibig sabihin paparusahan ng matindi. Okay? Karaniwang ginagamit din natin ng phrasal verb na ito na come down on, dinudugtungan siya ng salitang hard. Kasi nga tumutukoy siya sa kahulugan na to punish severely o parusahang matindi. Ano? <laughs> so let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say when her parents caught Jessica smoking. Ayan, sino sa inyo ang nahuling naninigarili ng parents ninyo? Paano kayo pinanish o pinarusahan? When her parents caught Jessica smoking, they really came down hard on her. O sa madaling sabi, kapag sinabing they really came down on her, she was punished severely by her parents. Pinarusahan siyang matindi ng kanyang mga magulang matapos siyang mahuling nanini garilyo. That's it. Next one, for the eighth phrasal verb, ayan, nangangalahati na tayo. The eighth one we have is come in. Ayan, it has two different meanings. Come in. The first meaning, I know it's very familiar para sa ating lahat. When we say come in, it means to enter o pumasok. To enter a room, to enter a class, to enter a door. <laughs> That's it. Now, this is the example sentence. We have the doors open. So, just come in. So, yung word natin dyang doors Hindi yan ibig sabihin maraming pinto. Ah. Pansinin niyo meron siyang apostrophe na talakay natin yan sa last live lesson natin about possessive. But it's not possessive. It's the contraction of the words door and is. 
door is. The door is open. Ginamit, ginamit lang yung contraction or shortened form, it became the doors open. So, just come in. Bukas ng pinto. So, anong gagawin mo? Pumasok ka na lang. Sige, bukas naman yung pinto. That's the first meaning of our first... That's the first meaning of the phrasal verb come in. To enter. The second meaning of the phrasal verb come in is this. To be received as a signal. As in television, radio, or cell phone. Okay? Ibig sabihin... Uh, Technically speaking to, no, yung kahulugang ito na, kumbaga, pag sinabing come in, uh, kung nare yung nare-receive siya, natatanggap siya bilang signal, most specially uh, re in relation to uh, television, yung signal ng television, sa radyo, sa cellphone. Anong example nating pangungusap? We have this. I love this station, but it doesn't come in very well outside the city. Okay, sabi dyan, Gusto ko tong estasyon na to. Pero hindi naman ganun kaayos na nare-receive yung signal kapag wala ka na sa syudad o kapag bumiyahe ka na sa probinsya. Ayan, very true yan. Nung last time bumabiyahe kami sa Batangas, syempre ang favorite radio station <laughs> kapag nagbabiyahe kami sa Sakya, 97.1, yung mga favorite ko, or 97.9. Pero kapag nasa Batangas ka na, hindi na pala siya ganun ka hindi na siya nare-receive yung signal nung uh, radio station na yon Hindi na malakas yung signal doon. So, may particular radio station kami pinapakinggan. I don't remember na eh. Pero sa pagkakatanda ko, 95.9 or 96.9, something like that. <laughs> so, ayun nga, ganun siya. Hindi na ganun nagka-come in. Hindi na ganun nare-receive yung signal pag wala na sa syudad. No? Hindi na nare-receive ng radio waves. That's the second and last meaning of come in, to be received as signal, as in television, radio, or cell phone. Now let's proceed to our... Ayan. Meron sa ating uh, nag-receive ng star. Ay, nag-send nag ng star. Thank you po. Ayan. Next one is this. We are now in number nine. We have the word come into. Ayan. When we say come into, tapos na pala tayo dyan. We are now in number... Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Magkahawig pala sila ni number eight, letter B. The nine one is come into. When we say come into, it means to receive something valuable especially inherited money. Ayan. Come into means to receive something valuable. Ibig sabihin, uh, yung may receive ka, matatanggap ka na may halaga. Karaniwan, we can incorporate it to inherited money o sa mga minanang salapi o kayamanan. Ayan. Ano po? Ayan. Thank you po kay McLean Palma Dagundong for sending 35 stars. Ayan, thank you po. And kay Gans M. Namoka na nag-send sa atin ng 75 stars. Ayan, thank you. Hindi ko lang alam paano ko maipipin dito yung inyong sinend the stars. But again, I'd like to show appreciation. I appreciate your generosity. So, dito sa Facebook, by the way, we are broadcasting simultaneously. Oh, that's a vocabulary word. When we say simultaneously, magkasabay. Ano po? Uh, sabay itong naka-live ngayon sa YouTube at sa Facebook. So, on Facebook, you can send stars. On YouTube, you can send super stickers, super chat. Yung tinatawag na supers. Not to show appreciation to your beloved YouTube or Facebook content creator. So that's it. Let's go back to our topic. The example sentence we can use or we can have from that phrasal verb common to is this. Kevin came into some money again. He, so he paid off all of his debts. So that is not debt. That is debt. Silent B. 
Kevin came into some money. So, he paid off all of his debt. Ibig sabihin, may minanang pera si Kevin. Pwedeng sa magulang niya, ano? Doon naman, usually may minamana tayo sa parents natin eh. Or if we use the meaning of common to, it will be Kevin inherited money or inherited some money. So, he paid off all of his debts. May, mayroon siyang tinanggap o minanang salapi eh. Pwedeng sa mga ulang niya, no? At anong ginawa niya? Binayaran niya lahat ng kanyang mga utang. Ayan. <laughs> Binayaran niya lahat ng kanyang mga utang. Next one is this. Pang sampu na tayo, no? Sabi sa inyo, labing lima lang. So, maya-maya matatapos na tayo. Abangan niyo yung quiz natin sa hulihan ng live lesson na ito. Number 10, we have, come on. Ayan. Come on, come on, come on. No? Ayan, sabi dyan, it means to request that someone do something. It is often pronounced as come on, come on. Hindi na ganun kalinaw, no? Uh, more on parang contract, contraction form na po pronounce Come on, parang ganun, no? Ibig sabihin lang nito, ito yung uh, kumbaga may kausap ka at gusto mong gawin niya yung bagay na tinutukoy mo. For example, uh, aalis kayo ng bahay, at gusto mong uh, tulungan kanya magdala ng mga gamit mo. Come on, help me with this uh, belongings. Come on, help me with these belongings. That's it, okay? This is the example sentence. Come on, I'd really like you to come to the movie with me. Come on, inaaya mo. Halika, gusto ko talagang kasama kang man manood ng pikikula. Again, come on, I'd really like you to come to the movie with me. Halika, gusto talaga kitang makasama ang manood ng pelikula. So that's the 10th phrasal verb with the word come, come on. And I know it's very familiar sa inyong lahat. Next one, we have the phrasal verb come out. Ayan. Ito, come out. Ibig sabihin ng come out, to divulge something about oneself or one's identity. Especially sexual orientation. Hmm, ano po yan, Teacher Aubrey? Ibig sabihin, when we say to divulge, that can be pronounced as divulge or divulge. Pwedeng short I, pwedeng long I. Ano po? Parehang acceptable. To divulge something about oneself or identity. Or one's identity. O meron kang isisiwalat na lihim ng isang tao. O itinatagong bagay ng isang tao. Karaniwan, we can incorporate this uh, phrasal verb div come out with that meaning when it comes to sexual orientation o di ba pag sinabing, uy, nag-out na si ano, nala, nabalitaan mo ba, nag-out na siya, di ba? Yun yung, tinata yun yung karaniwang phrase, nag-out na, hindi natin sinasabing nag-come out, pero formally it is come out but sa atin um, in layman's term ang gamit natin ay nag-out na. Ibig sabihin, umamin na siya na ganito yung kasarian niya. Umamin na siya na ganito yung kasarian niya. Nag-come out na siya. Nag-out na siya. Example sentence is this. None of Dan's friends was surprised when he came out. They knew he was gay. Ulitin natin. None of Dan's friends was surprised. When he came out, they knew he was gay. Ayan, wala na raw na gulat nung nag-out, nung umamin si Dan na siya ay ganoon, na siya ay gay. Or na siya ay, uh, sa term natin sa Filipino, na siya ay bakla. Hindi na raw na gulat yung mga kaibigan niya. Bakit? Kasi alam naman daw nila noon pa na ganoon na talaga yung kasarian ni Dan. So again, the meaning of come out is to divulge something about oneself or one's identity, especially sexual orientation. Next one, number 12, is this. We have the phrasal verb come through. Ayan, come plus the word through, it becomes come through. The meaning is to help or perform something according to expectation. To help or perform something according to expectation. O, kumbaga, maisagawa yung isang bagay batay sa kung ano yung inaasahan. Ayan ha? The example sentence is this. 
I wasn't sure if he'd be able to lend me the money. Jack, but ja, but Jack really came through for me. Again, I wasn't sure if he'd be able to lend me the money. But Jack really came through for me. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka sigurado kung pahihiramin ka ba talaga. Siguro nangihiram ka ng pera kay Jack. Hindi ka, sig- hindi ka sigurado kung pahihiramin ka ba talaga ng pera ni Jack. O nung taong kausap mo, hindi ka sigurado kung pahihiramin ka ba talaga niya ng pera. Pero, gaya ng inaasahan mo, si Jack ay napahiram ka. Parang ganun yung gusto niyang ipakahulugan ng pangungusap. Again, the meaning of come through is to help or perform something according to expectation. Next, kumbaga inaasahan mo si Jack na siya talaga yung makakatulong sa iyo. Next, number 13, we have the word or the phrasal verb come to. Ayan, when we say come to, it has two meanings. Ayan, may dalawa siyang kahulugan. Wait, no, wala. Okay, so ang dalawang kahulugan niya ay ito. Wait lang po, ayan. The first meaning of come to is this. We have to arrive at. Ibig sabihin, makarating ka sa ganung punto. Karaniwan, ginagamitan siya ng salitang conclusion, realization, at iba pang kahalintulad nito. For example, come to conclusion or come to realization. Ganun yung karaniwang phrase. Ano? Example sentence is this. We have, I have just come to the conclusion. Ayan. I have just come. Saan ka nakarating? Nakarating ka saan? Sa conclusion na ano eto i've just come to the conclusion that i'd like to go to school i've just come to the conclusion that i'd like to go to school o nakarating ako sa uh, realisasyon na kailangan kong pumasok sa eskwelahan that's the first meaning of come to or which is to arrive at most especially it can be used with the words conclusion realization or other words na kasing kahulugan yan the second and last meaning of come to is to awaken after having been unconscious. To awaken after having been unconscious. O magising matapos yung ilang sandali na wala ka sa sarili. Parang ganun, ano? magising matapos yung ilang sandali na unconscious ka o hindi ka aware sa nangyayari. This is the example sentence. When Mary came to she discovered that someone had moved her to the sofa. When Mary came to, o oh, matapos magising ni Mary after having been uh, unconscious. When Mary came to, she discovered that someone had moved her to the sofa. Matapos magising ni Mary na mga ilang sandali na hindi niya namamalaya yung nangyari, nagulat siya, nadiskubri niya na May naglipat na pala sa kanya. Siguro naka, nakatulog nga siya, no? Doon sa sofa, pwedeng nakatulog siya, hindi niya namamalaya, nasa lapag siya, nasa sahig. Maya-maya, nung nagising na siya, nagulat siya, nandun na siya sa sofa para mas komportable siya. So that's the second and last meaning of come to, which is to awaken after having been unconscious. Next one, number 14, is this. We have the phrasal verb come up come up it has two meanings come up the first meaning is what's the first meaning to visit an area considered geographically higher or further north eto po yung direct na kabaliktaran direct opposite of the phrasal verb come down kanina yung come down magvi-visit ka sa geographically south na lugar pababa sa mapa. Pero kapag sinabi natin come up, yung kabaliktaran, panorte, papunta sa taas na bahagi ng isang lugar. Okay? For example, nasa Manila tayo, eh gusto mong mag-come up. Magka-come up ka papunta sa mga region, sa mga probinsya, sa norte, pwedeng Ilocos region, somewhere in Baguio. No? Yung mga lugar na nasa northern part ng mapa. Example sentence. 
I'll come up and visit you when you go to the mountains this summer. Ayan, yung ginamit nating um, word na tumutukoy somewhere north ay mountain. So, ayan, obviously, uh, pataas yan, patungo sa mga kabundukan. You know? I'll come up and visit you when you go to the mountains this summer. Next one, number 14. Number 14 pa rin, pero pangalawang ka, kahulugan na. The second meaning of come up is to rise socially, economically, or professionally. Ibig sabihin, mag-level up ka. Pwedeng sa estado sa buhay mo, sa pakikipagkapwa-tao mo, o sa estado ng profession mo. Pwedeng na-promote ka. For example, sa aming teacher, teacher one ka, naging teacher two, o more so, naging principal ka pa. So, you come up, nag-level up ka. This is the example sentence. Bob's really come up since he became the president of the company. Again, Bob, ibig sabihin dyan ng Bob's, that's the contraction of the words Bob has. So, naging Bob's really come up. Bob has really come up since he became the president of the company. Nag-level up talaga yung kalagayan ni Bob magmula naging president siya ng kumpanya. Okay? Pwedeng professionally yung tinutukoy mo or socially yung estado niya sa buhay. Pwedeng, ayan, economically. <laughs> That's it. Now, let's proceed to this part, to the 15th and last word on our live lesson tonight. Pero huwag kayong mawawala dahil may quiz pa. Tingnan natin kung nakinig kayong mabuti sa atin pong uh, ginawang pag-aaral. The 15th and last phrasal verb is come up with. Eto, dinagdagan lang siya ng salitang with na iba na yung kahulugan. From the 14th one, we have the come up. This one, we have come up with. When we say come up with, my dear learners, it has two different meanings. The first meaning is this. Come up with means to get an idea. O makakuha ka ng ideya. Magkaroon ka ng uh, insight tungkol sa isang bagay. We can use this phrasal verb come up with with these words such as idea, come up with an idea, or come up with a solution, or come up with a proposal. Example sentence is this. In question form, let's say, ito siya. Where did you come up with the idea that the director was quitting? Where did you come up? O saan ka nakakuha ng ideya? Ano? Saan ka nakakuha ng chika? O ganun, in layman serve. Huwag isa mo nabalitaan. Where did you come up with the idea that the director was quitting? Saan ka nakakuha ng balita na aalis na or magre-resign na yung director? That's the meaning of it. Come up with, which means to get an idea. The last meaning of come up with is this. To obtain or acquire, especially money. To obtain or acquire, especially money. Ibig sabihin ay makakuha. Ano? Makakuha. Karaniwan ay tumutukoy sa pera. To obtain or acquire, especially money. The example sentence is this. Let's say, if you can come up with enough money, kapag nakalikom ka na, nakakuha ka na ng sapat na pera for the down payment, the car is yours. If you can come up with enough money, the down with enough money for the down payment, the car is yours. O ibig sabihin, kapag nakalikom ka na ng sapat na salapi o pera, nakaipon ka na ng sapat na pera, nakakuha ka na, maku pang down payment, makukuha mo na yung sasakyan. So again, that's the last phrasal verb with the meaning to obtain or acquire especially with money or especially money we have come up with. Before we proceed to our quiz, balikan lang natin saglit yung ating mga phrasal verbs. The first phrasal verb we have is come across. The second one is to come along. The third one is to come around. Okay, sige. I-flash ko lang ng mabilis ha as a short review bago tayo mag-proceed sa quiz. Ang una natin, come across. It has two different meanings. Alright. Next is, come along. That's it. The third 
phrasal verb is come around, it has two different meanings. It's the first meaning. The second meaning is this. The fourth word we have is come back. And that's the fourth phrasal verb, come back. The fifth one is come by. It has two different meanings. It's the first meaning and it's the second meaning. Number six, we have come down. It has two meanings again, come down. The first has in relation to price. The second has a relation to the geographical position of a place at yung pagdalaw sa lugar na yon. Number seven, we have the word, the phrasal verb come down on, come down on. The eighth one is come in. It has, yeah, it has two meanings. The first meaning is this. The second meaning is this. The ninth phrasal verb is come into, come into. The tenth one is come on. And very familiar sa atin yan. The eleventh word or phrasal verb is come out, come out. Twelfth one is come through, come through. The thirteenth Phrasal verb is come to, which has two meanings. The first one is this, to arrive at. The second meaning is to awaken after having been unconscious. Number 14 is come up, come up. It has two different meanings. The first one is this. The second one is this. And the last phrasal verb that we discussed for this live lesson is this. We have come up with. It has two different meanings. The first meaning is this. And the second one is this. So I think you are ready for our short quiz. Sige, buhay pa ba ang lahat? Are you still awake? Let's try. Tingnan nga natin yung mga comments, no? Later on, babatiin ko uli kayo, ha? Before we end this live lesson. Ayan, thank you po sa inyong lahat na kasama natin tonight. This will be your quiz. Ayan, may quiz kayo. Kuha kayo ng papel. Pero kahit huwag na papel, mag-comment nyo lang yung sagot ninyo sa ating live chat box or sa comment section kung kayo ay nanonood sa Facebook. What are you waiting for? Let's begin! <laughs> this is the direction. Fill in the blanks with one of the following phrasal verbs. Mamimili lang kayo dun sa pinag-aralan natin. Come around, come along, came back. Come into, come down, come in, come on, come to, come up, and come up with. Let's begin. The first one is this. How much money were you able to for your down payment? How much money were you able to blank for your down payment? I'm going to flash the correct answers that I can see from the comments. Tingnan nga natin. Tingnan natin. Come on, put your answers in. Ayan, may nakita akong tamang sagot. Very good. So, the correct answer came from Virgin Lee item. Sabi niya, come up with. Very good. So, the answer is, come up with. It will be, how much money were you able to come up with? For your down payment. O, oh, gano'n nang... Magkano na yung naliko mong pera? Naipon mong pera para sa down payment. Again, the correct answer is come up with. The second one we have is this. The price of that car has really blank a lot since it first came out. So, you have to read between the lines. Di ba karaniwan kapag may mga bagay, kahit sa gadget, sa sasakyan, o sa anumang bagay, sa unang labas, mahal pa, di ba? Mahal ang mahal. Nako, hintayin ko muna at lumipas ang ilang panahon para ano mangyari. Di ba? Pag may lumabas pa na mas updated na model, yung pinagluma ang model, ano na nangyayari sa presyo niya? Di ba? Anong sagot natin dyan? Tingnan natin. Anong tamang sagot? Titingnan ko kung sino. Ayan, marami-raming nakapagbigay <laughs> ng tamang sagot. So, for number two, the first who got the correct answer is 
Ayan. Si Mr. M, come down. Good job. Excellent answer. Carol Dizon, come down. Liber Kim, come down. Journaline. Ayan. Thank you and congratulations. Oh, no, it's not come up. It's come down. Come down the price. Yeah. Particularly, we're talking about the price. Ayan, si Roy. So let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is come down. It will be uh, the price of that car has really come down a lot since it first came out. Ayan. Kunyari, bumili ka ngayong 2022 ng sasakyan. And next year, may lumabas na bagong modelo nun. For sure, kung mayroon pa sa merkado na mabibili nung sasakyan mo nung year 2022, for sure, mas bumaba na yung presyo nun. Siyempre, mas mahal yung bagong labas. Ano? Kahit naman sa mga gadgets. Ano po? Number three is this. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him in ages. Ayan na, matagal-tagal ko na siyang hindi nakita. He doesn't blank here anymore. He doesn't blank here anymore. What's the answer? Ang tagal-tagal ko na siyang, matagal-tagal ko na siyang hindi nakita. Anong ginagawa? Ano yung bagay na hindi niya nagagawa dito sa lugar na kinaroroonan mo? Kinaroroonan ko. What's the answer? Ayan, sige nga po, put your answers in the live chat box. Ayan, mamaya-maya, babatiin natin mga kasama natin, ano? Yung ating mga learners, both from Facebook and YouTube. Sige nga po, ayan. What's the answer? Come on, try to answer. I haven't seen he, I haven't seen him in ages. He doesn't blank here anymore. Ayan, very good. <laughs> very good pa rin si Virgin Lee Item. Sabi niya, come around. Yan, ibig sabihin ng come around ay to visit or frequent a place. Yes, very good. Tila Gray Channel, Mr. M. Good job. You got the correct answers. The correct answer. All right. So the correct one is come around. It will be, I haven't seen, seen him in ages. He doesn't come around here anymore. The fourth one is this. Try to answer. If you like Thai food, you should blank with us for dinner tonight. If you like Thai food, you should blank with us for dinner tonight. So, aalis sila. Magdi-dinner sila sa labas ngayong gabi. Anong sabi niya? May kausap siya. Kung gusto kong mahilig ka sa mga Thai food, ano say Thai food, um, mga pagkain from Thailand, no? Thai food. Thai there is an adjective referring to the food. Thai food. Ano kailangan mong gawin? Mm-hmm. Let's find... Kung sino nakabigay, nakapagbigay ng tamang sagot. Ayan, the first correct answer came from Jimmy. Ayan, Jimmy Nobresala. Good job. So we have come along. Mr. M, Liber Kim, Carol, Mekman. Ayan si Mekman. Hello, Mekman. Nina. And Virgin Lee pa rin. Ayan, very good, no? Yung ating mga active learners. May pahabol pa from Gans. Ayan. So the correct answer for number four is come along, come along, or or sumama to accompany. It will be if you like Thai food, you should come along with us for dinner tonight. Next number five, we have this sentence completed using the correct phrasal verb. I'm not sure how you blank that conclusion. Di ba may mga pinag-aralan tayo kanina ng ginagamitan ng mga words na conclusion, realization, ano po yon? I'm not sure how you blank that conclusion, but it's wrong. Hmm, what's that? What's the answer? Ah, may nakita akong tamang sagot. Sabi ni Mr. M, yes, come to. But what's the past tense of come to? Past tense na po kasi yung sentences. So we have to use the past form of come to. It will be? Sabi ni Mary Joy, come to. Yes, tama po yung come to. Virgin Lee. What's the past tense? Yes, sabi ni Mr. M, it is came to. Yes. So the correct answer is came to. Dahil past form na po yung sentence. It will be, I'm not sure how you came to that conclusion, but it's wrong. Okay? 
That's number five. For number six, try to complete this, this sentence. We have Jordan blank, blank to his office to get a file he'd forgotten. Okay, so dito sa number six, past tense pa rin yung gagamitin natin, ha? Jordan blank to his office. Anong ginawa ni Jordan? Kapag may nilimutan kayo sa bahay ninyo, anong ginagawa ninyo? Ha? Sige nga, lagay ninyo sa ating live chat box. Mm -hmm, wala pa akong nakikita. Anong gagawin ninyo kapag may nalimutan kayo sa isang lugar? Kanyari, mahalagang bagay. Kailangan nyo talagang... Ayan, okay, yung correct answer. Yan, galing sa aking husband, the CN URL, watching from Facebook. Came back. ba kapag may nalimutan kayo, ang gagawin ninyo, babalikan nyo pong talaga. Ayan, from Carol Dizon, came back. We have to use the past form. It will be like this. The correct answer is came back. It will be Jordan came back to his office to get a file he had forgotten. That's it. Number seven, we have this sentence. Did you buy a new house? Bumili ka ba ng bagong bahay? You must have blank some money. Diba minsan kapag nagugulat tayo na Yung isang tao, hindi naman siya nagtatrabaho, pero nagulat na lang tayo, uy, may bago na siyang bahay. Siguro meron tong ano, minanang pera sa magulang niya. O may minana itong kayamanan. What is the phrasal verb we can use uh, to express someone has inherited money? Ano yung pinag-aralan natin dyan kanina? Sige nga po. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sige po, ilagay natin sa ating live chat box. Yes, good job si Mr. M at si Virgin Lee. Hello, hello sa inyo. Very good. So, ang tamang sagot ay come into. Ibig sabihin, you have inherited something. Pwedeng sa magulang mo o sa nakatatanda sa'yo na may ipapamana. Ibig sabihin, ay or that has a relation to money. You can incorporate to money. We have come into. Let's say, uh, did you buy a new house? You must have come into some money. Mm -hmm. Next, number eight, we have this. Try to complete the sentence. Blank. You can do it. Try a little harder. Oh, ito, very familiar tayo sa expression na to. Sinasabi natin to sa isang tao kapag gusto natin... Gawin niya yung isang bagay. What's the answer for that? Hey, ayon, very good. Come on, come on. Sabi ni Liber Kim. All right, come on. Sabi ni Danielle, come on. Sabi ni Gans. Aha, uh -huh, no, it's not common to it's come on. Sabi ni Carol. Ang daigsing comment. <laughs> Hindi ko kasi nung ma-click, no? Ayan, sabi ni Kuya Raup. Come on. Come on, come on. Ayan, so the correct answer is, well, come on. It will be, come on, you can do it. Try a little harder. That's it. And the last one, nine items lang pala yung mababahagi ko sa inyo tonight, ano? The last one is this. Please, blank, it's freezing outside. O malamig sa labas, anong kailangan mong gawin? Please blank. It's freezing outside. What's the answer? Mm -hmm. Yes, a girl called Avi. Sabi niya, come in. Yes, yes. Ang aking husband, come in. Si Yen, come in. Danielle, Jera, come in. Liber Kim, come in. Mr. M, ah, Shirley Corporal. Shirley Caporal. Ayan, hello. Very good answers. Come in. Sabi rin ni Virgin Lee, come in. And the correct answer is, come in. Ayan. <laughs> the sentence will be like this. <coughs> Please come in. Please come in. We're, it's freezing outside. Please come in. It's freezing outside. Nako, naghihalo na sa labas. O sobrang labig na sa labas. Halika, pumasok ka. That's it. So, ilan po ang tamang sagot na nakuha ninyo? Ilagay nyo nga yung mga score ninyo sa ating live chat box. Pakilagay po ng score ninyo. Ilan ang scores nila? Well, congratulations and give yourselves 
a virtual clap. Ayan, congratulations po. At uh, thank you sa pagsasagot ninyo. I hope na marami kayong natutuhan. Ayan, uh, very good si Virgil Lee. Uh, naka daw. Wow. Congratulations. At sa lahat din ng mga nakasama natin tonight, maraming salamat. Come on, put your uh, names and the place we are, where you are watching right now sa ating live chat box, sa ating comments section sa iba ba. At habang naghihintay pa ako ng mga comments ninyo, ay uh, ini-invite ko kayo na mag-like dito sa ating pong video. Yes, don't forget to like this video. If you're watching from Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube, share the link of this video with your friends, with your classmates, with your family, with other family members para po matutuhan din nila. Don't forget to comment your name or the place where you're watching right now para ma-acknowledge ko kayo. Subscribe on our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated every time we will be having another live lesson. This week, um, on Thursday, I'll have another uh, live lesson, which is the part three of our common grammatical errors in English, most especially when we are writing and how we can fix them. Part three na po yun, no? Sa Webes, same time, 8.30 p.m. And of course, ayan na nga, click the notification bell. Huwag pong kakalimutan yan. And allow notifications para every time may live lesson tayo or new upload, makikita ninyo. Kung kayo naman ay nanonood from Facebook, don't forget to follow our Facebook page para lagi kayong updated kapag meron tayong short videos or newly uploaded videos or shareable posts para lagi kayong updated. Ano po? Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram accounts at Obrey and at Aubrey Bermudez. Also on my TikTok for shorter uh, educational videos at Aubrey Bermudez. On, yeah, my Facebook page, Learn English with Teacher Aubrey. My second YouTube channel, Aubrey and Family Lifestyle TV. And also, please support my little sister on her channel as she shares her English uh, lessons and sh Study tips. I am Miles Bermudez. Wag niyo pong kakalimutan. And ano pa nga bang hinihintay natin? It's shout out time. Batiin natin yung mga kasama pa rin natin na nanonood ngayon. Watching from Qatar, kasama natin si Lin. Hello sa'yo. Journaline Alba from Hong Kong. Hello po. From Marawi City, si Kuya Rauf. Ayan, walang anuman po. Si Atel, yan. Miss Lizelle Gamboa, walang anuman po. Watching from Isabella. Si Tilly Gray. Kanina maraming comments, no? pero hindi during this kind of discussion kasi hindi ko na sinisingit yung pagbate para tuloy-tuloy tayo. Ano po? Ayan, syempre, kasama rin, nanood pala. Ewan ko, nandito pa si Sir Marvin. Um, I'm inviting you to support him on his contents. He is also an English teacher. Punta kayo sa YouTube channel niya, Sir Marvin. Makikita niyo yung mga English lessons din niya at Nakakatuwa yung mga hacks na tinuturo niya when it comes to social media accounts. Um, more, most especially sa mga about technical things. Mag-subscribe kayo sa channel niya, pati rin sa TikTok and Facebook niya. Hanapin niyo Sir Marvin. Ayan, si Engineer JM. May nanonood din sa atin na si Von Legacy. Nabasa ko yung comment po kanina. Sabi mo, sorry kung late ka. Okay lang, you can still replay the first part of the video from Maasim, Sarangani Province, Mindanao. Hello, Von Legacy. Ayan, ang aking mother-in-law na si Mama Evangeline Badaguas. Hello po. Shirley Coporal from San Lorenzo, Gumaras. Okay. Si Jodem from Japan. Ayan. Hello po, si Hazel. Happy Teacher's Day. Thank you, Bebe. Hazel, at sa lahat din, Happy Teacher's Day. Salamat po sa mga bumate. Danilo, watching from Bacolod. Hello, kumusta po kayo dyan? Josephine, marami po akong natutunan sa video lessons sa YouTube mo. Happy World Teacher's Day. Ayan, marami pong salamat. I appreciate your greetings. Si Ezekiel, si Rujil from Iloilo, si Mekman na muling nagbabalik. Dati very active ka, no? Salamat na kanood ka sa live natin. Eto, ayan, from Saudi Arabia. Sorry, hindi ko mabasa yung name mo, eh. From Cora, ayan. Aha, ang daing nanonood, no? Pasensya po kung hindi ko mababati lahat, ha? Kasi ang daming comments. 
Ayan. From Pampanga, nanonood si Carol. Hello po. Virgin Lee, na very active sa ating live lesson tonight. I appreciate your cooperation and participation from Warren. Ayan. Hello sa iyo dyan, sa Antipolo. From Malate, Manila, Maria Lilibeth de Leonario. Ayan. Sige po, comment lang kayo. Si Ann Mabel, hello, thank you. And happy Teacher's Day din sa'yo, sa yung future teacher na si Mabel. Carol Gizon. Ayan, nakakatuwa, ano? Thank you po sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat kasi nakasama ko kayo in tonight's live lesson. Si Totoy TV, mula sa Bulacan. Saan ka sa Bulacan? Sa Bulacan din po ako, kababayan kita. <laughs> at sa mga nagsagot na active sa atin pong live lesson tonight, sa mga nagsend ng kanilang super, not super pala, ng stars from Facebook na si Kevin na si McLean Palma de Gondong at si Gans M. Namoka. Nag-send sila ng stars. Maraming salamat po sa inyong generosity. At syempre, ang mama ko nanonood for me, Kawayan, Josephine Bermudez, at sa mga kapatid ko dyan. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you so much, Lynn. Nasaan si Lynn? Shoutout natin si Lynn. Nawala eh. Ayan. Annalyn. From Laguna, thank you so much po. Joseph, thank you so much. Si Mama, si Tangerine, hello. From Qatar, si Lee, hello sa'yo. And, uh, ayan na nga, huli na natin uh, shout out si Lee, si Annalyn. Thank you po sa inyong lahat and happy Teacher's Day sa lahat din ng kapwa ko guro na talaga namang walang sawang nagtuturo para sa kinabukasan at magandang kapakanan ng ating mga kabataan. Thank you for being a part of this worthwhile live lesson tonight. Marami pong salamat sa inyo. Sana ay marami po kayong natutuhan. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. At bago ko wakas ng ating live lesson tonight, hayaan po ninyo na Ipaalala ko muli sa inyo na ano man po ang inyong mga edad, estado sa buhay, o narating sa buhay, I know for sure na lahat tayo ay mayroong mga pangarap. Tandaan po ninyo na walang imposible. Ano lang ang kailangan gawin? Lagi po lamang pagsisikapan at pagsasanayan. See you on my next live video or live lesson. Bye for now!